What's up, y'all? So King said checks Diamond Flawless boyfriend after something. Neek boyfriend comes to King's son party. They are just adulting, you know? And uh, Queen Naja responds. So, yeah, um, I don't know what's going on, but, yeah, let's get into this video. Grab your popcorn, grab your snacks, grab your wine. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And if you are new, welcome to the league. Yes, diamond eyes. Yes, them eyes is beautiful. Okay. I read the title, let's get it. Up a video with a caption that says, used to love diamond, now I love diamonds, which he's referring to his ex diamond that. flawless. Now her current boyfriend, which this is the same boyfriend that she had prior to King Sid. They broke up and then she got with King Sid. That didn't work out. So she went back to her ex boyfriend and they're now together. Well, he had a problem with King Sid's caption. He said, clout is a drug, don't take it. Then he posted up diamond flawless, which she is looking flawless, happy, glowing. He posted up her picture and it said mine. So he was basically sending a message towards King Sid, letting oh, him know like, like, this is mine. <laughs> Don't talk about her. And King said, said this. That's my ex too, bitch. If I said I love somebody, you know, fuck. If I said I said I love somebody, I could say that. Fuck wrong with you. Mind your damn business. Now, I think the reason why King said, damn. First of all, King said, how you even know he put that on his story? Not over there lurking. Over there lurking. They posted that if you watch my previous video, famous birthday actually wished him happy birthday, but they used a throwback video of him in diamond, which people were confused, like, yo, is him in diamond back together? So I think he was trying to clear it up by doing a play on words. Obviously, the boyfriend took it the wrong way because he didn't know the whole full story about the whole situation. But I think that's why King Sid actually she did glowing. that, just to clear it up. Y'all leave y'all comments down below when it comes to that. But let's talk about it's Queen Naja because me, she that shirt probably twelve on it. Hell no, they got me fucked up on these amounts of these items. Tweet it, she said, I think I wanna legally change the spelling of my name from Naja to Naja because so many people think I'm calling myself the queen of Nigeria, LOL. Then somebody said, what do she even be talking about? Queen responded back, y'all are weird for real. Why take the time to quote something I tweeted if you have no idea what I'm talking about? Then somebody else said, ain't nobody thought this mom. Then Queen responded back, how are these people gonna tell me what people didn't say to me when I seen it? Then somebody else posted up proof. You can literally search it up. They just be wanting to be me for likes and retweets. Bro, thank you. They act like I be making stuff up like like what? Now, people continue making comments in the comment section. And obviously, Queen can't respond to everybody. So she just decided to make a video. Now, along with her video, I actually posted up people that were actually agreeing with Naja that people thought that she was Nigerian or she had a Nigerian background. So I'm going to post those comments with those people were saying along with her addressing the people that saying that she's delusional. So y'all stop, pause, and read in between the video. Now, towards the end of the video, she actually addressed the shade room because they reposted her tweet. And obviously, that caused constant controversy so queen was upset about that but they ended up taking it down so here's what she had to say fucking shade room need to sit the fuck down it's raining like hell shade room need to sit they ass down sometime like god damn whoever is running the show sit down okay that's number one but number two <clears throat> girl if i was if i was her at this point i probably wouldn't pay none of this shit no attention Girl, I would be Beyonce or Marianne and whoever else to the shit. Because why? <laughs> like, at some point, she got to let you, let people know you're not bothering me. You can't say it, though. You can't be like, you're, you're not bothering me. Because clearly I'm bothering you. She really, 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 really needs to Beyonce some shit one of these days. It's raining like hell. Y'all, if... If it if anything cut off, it's a wrap. It's cause it's a it's a it sounds like a storm is going on right now. Damn what I got outside. Damn. Um at some point, she most definitely need to be Beyonce and Omarion to this shit. Beyonce is a motherfucking icon because she she talks about nothing. She addresses nothing <laughs> okay Beyonce stole blah, blah, blah. Beyonce uh I don't know did some wild shit Beyonce be like this 
twiddling her thumbs in her rich ass corner, okay? She will one day. I make a tweet or a post and I say, so and so said this or so and so said this about me. And you come on there and you be like, nobody said that or I didn't say that. Then I obviously was not talking about you. Oh, Clarence. Oh, him too. Right. Take some fucking notes from him because Clarence would be like, hmm. I did. That's crazy. And girl, act like nothing else is happening. He addresses what's going to get him a coin. If it's going to get him a coin, he going to say something. And barely say anything. That nigga be like, what? <laughs> when did I? I said that? That's crazy. And then he made fucking five thousand dollars off that video <laughs> just make it make sense like i wasn't talking about you so it'll never make business. sense like, I, I just don't understand <laughs> why do you feel the sense. need to put your two cents in if you if you're not even a part of this whole equation or what i'm talking about shut up y'all so freaking annoying bro like i swear y'all i swear and the thing is i really don't like i don't care but it's just annoying like stop addressing yo y'all are just folk. so annoying just mind your business if it don't apply to you, then why are you commenting? Just shut up. I'm trying to let y'all rock, but y'all just too annoying for me. Like, and then shade room, y'all know exactly what y'all be doing. Y'all don't have to make post that. For what? For what? <laughs> Always it trying to match me. Says be so damn unbothered. I, yeah, he he damn sure be like. That's my anyway. son, yo. <laughs> That's really my son. Oh, <laughs> Now, if you get the shade and his girlfriend Jordan broke up again, sis was living her best life at Labor Day weekend. She was on bikes with this dude in the club with this dude. So yeah, she's single. Ninety-five. When people, not her friend, happier than her. Chat when people break up, they be so fucking happy. Should have just did it a long time ago. Yes, sir. And it is. Yes, sir. So what you doing out there? What you doing out The question is what I'm finna do. Ooh. Ooh. The question. Ooh. Just touch down the car. Wait, wait. Let me just touch down. down. Hello? Please handle your business, mate. Yes. Please handle your business, mate. So what you finna do? Oh, you said oh, it. I said it. I said it. I said it again. Girl, all I'm saying. I'm saying is it again. If, if they would have, if they would have told me that being single was this much fun, baby, I would have been hopped off the porch. Girl. I would have been hopped off the porch. Why the hell are y'all 21 and so serious? Niggas be 19 talking about I love him. I will die for him. Friend, why? You know what's crazy when your parents be like, I've already been there. <laughs> like, y'all, I've been 21, sounding stupid as hell. Let it go. Okay? Some people are lucky enough to just fall in love young. It happens. But the majority is out here being a thought. Friend, thought own. Okay? Thought own. Okay? Thought you. Thought care. Thought don't care. Do thoughty things. It's raining like hell. Oh, here. It's Girl, you're still being on the porch. Outside. You're still on the porch. Oh, no, no, no. You're baby, still on the porch. Girl, you still on the porch talking about the porch. I'm not understanding. I sold the How house. you not at home on a balcony talking about the porch? Somebody. Y'all missed that. How you out of town somewhere on somebody's balcony? Talking about your porch at home. Let it go. What make what make you think? What make you think? What make you think you 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 ain't in the in the estate no more? What make you think? Come on, I got right. new think. shoes on my ride. Yes, yes sir. sir. I'm like, well, I'm here, I'm here for the know. friend supporting her friend doing thotty things. Now, over the weekend, my supporters were hitting me up like crazy in DMs saying that King actually covered Neek's tattoo. He had a tattoo of Neek's name on his arm. He covered it up with a flower. And a lot of y'all was like, oh, he covered up the name, which I'm not shocked. Like he said, he wasn't even in love with Neek like that anyway. So I, I would expect him to do that. And he got another girl pregnant. He's in love with the girl he wants to be with. So I expected him to do that. I thought he was going to do it a lot sooner, but hey, better 
late than never, right? Now, not only did King cover up Neek's tat, but over the weekend, King and Neek's son actually turned three. They had a birthday party for him. Oh, and on baby. King's girlfriend, Lena's love, a lot of people were asking, was she at the party? And for some reason, she didn't want to answer it. But sis was at the party. She was trying to be real low key in the back, but you can see her somewhat in the crevices. You can see that plaid shirt of hers. Well, and she, she actually recorded videos and pictures of King and his son. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Girl, who would have been over there in the corner too? Just how you doing? <laughs> hey, how are? Yeah, you good? Me too. Yeah, that's my stepson. <laughs> Just the fuck quiet in my corner. I don't know none of y'all. We not friends. I'm the new bitch. <laughs> <laughs> not only was Lena at the party, but Neek's boo thing, Dwayne Bacon, was also there as well. If you can see the background, he took a picture in the actual place. And there was a video where he was actually talking to Neek's mom. So you can see okay. that he was there. He was present. He was supporting. So both of their significant others were actually there supporting. I guess this is clarity that they're dating now for real. Like things are serious because he actually took pictures in her house. A lot of people were pointing out that he was at her yes. house. And I'm like, I told y'all this a month ago. Just please don't get pregnant, Nick. Please. Please. Not yet. Poor little baby. He gonna be that's my little brother. That's my little sister. They the same age and shit. Please, y'all. Nick, please don't do that to that baby. Gonna have a brother and sister the same fucking age. I feel like you're gonna have another boy. He look like he's shooting boys. Just please. Okay. Oh, y'all waiting for the same background for him to be in the house? Oh, when he in the house, it solidifies it. Okay, I get y'all. Y'all leave y'all comments down and below. Let me know what y'all thinking. Y'all are amazing. I appreciate y'all. Enjoy your Tuesday. Love y'all. That was cute. Let's give it cute. King over there all chocolatey with his, you know, vanilla, whatever. Nico over there looking all caramelish with her chocolatey, man. Super chocolatey, caramelish, just melanated. Yes! It's just a good time. It's a good time. They just so mature. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We are on to the next video.